So first of all, I'd just like to ask you how it feels to win this award. Oh, very, very, very excited. It's good, especially coming from Zimbabwe in Africa, to come in Europe and win an award. It's quite amazing. We are really happy. Special thanks to the stakeholders that we have been working with. You know, you work with the youth in, youth in politics, youth in students, and also key stakeholders, key, key stakeholders in Zimbabwe. So we really did get this award to them. We really appreciate their work and their support towards our, our initiative. Could you tell us a little bit about the mission of the your foundation in Zimbabwe? Okay, our mission is to see a, a developed Zimbabwe, where young people actively participate in the development of of the country. So we have two main key thematic areas, which is peace and governance. Under peace and governance, we are engaging young people in politics, teacher education, as well in the community, through dialogues and then also through sports. So we are bringing young people together, playing sports, using it as a tool to promote peace and tolerance in our country. So what we are looking for, we are looking at the values of sport. You know, sport unites people, sport brings respect and mutual understanding. So we are trying to instill this knowledge, these values, in the young people, so that they respect each other and live peaceful communities in Zimbabwe. And what you've seen in your country, how do you think that sport is an answer to peace? So thank you very much. We've seen that we, 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 we engage young people through dialogues and then sport. So we are receiving a quite number of young people that are coming to, to watch soccer or and also netball. Sport on its own is a unifier. So even in Zimbabwe, when big teams are playing Dynamos and, and Islanders, the stadium will be packed. So I've seen that sport attracts people and they really appreciate it. And we're also happy that the Ministry of Youth and Sport, they've actually supported our work through and through to make sure that we use sport as, a, as an answer for peace and as a tool to promote peace in our country. You know, Zimbabwe is heading for elections next year. So we really need more of these interventions within the communities, within the youth in politics, and all of, and also I hope the support that we are getting from the security agents in Zimbabwe. We are creating this missing, li missing link between the police and the communities. So we are also using sport as a tool to bridge the gap between the two. And we are successful.